If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 336, The Boring Life. So a lot of people, um, when they think about the structure, when they think about the discipline, when they talk to me about certain aspects, they're like, that shit sounds boring. And it probably does. So my tweet that this came off of is, it's boring to be consistent, right? Because it's somewhat mundane. Although... The adding and subtracting of daily habits is exciting for me because I'm trying to figure out a strategy where I can win, right? It's boring to eat right, you know, because you kind of eat a lot of the same things, but then you also end up knowing how you're going to feel, which ain't that boring to me. Um, It's boring not to drink alcohol during the week, so you're not really at happy hour. You're not out there fucking around during the week. You're actually focused and making sure that you're motivated to get up and whatever. And you got to kind of compartmentalize, I think, some of that behavior anyway so you can be successful. But the question you have to answer is getting what you want worth being a little boring on the other times of your life? Is feeling on top of your game worth the other shit being a little boring? And everyone has to evaluate this in my opinion, you have to say is me doing these mundane, looked upon, boring, consistent tasks that I know are going to make me feel good, probably build confidence and maybe win more often. Is that more boring? Is that is that worth it so I can get what I want? And that's what where it comes down to, you know, gratification or I guess satisfaction in the moment versus delayed. So I'm, I'm willing to delay my satisfaction or gratification to get what I ultimately want because I know that's going to build up momentum for me. And so that's where I think a lot of people struggle is they're really focused on this today doesn't feel that fun. I, I'm uncomfortable because I got up. I'm uncomfortable because I had to train. I'm uncomfortable because I had to really kind of look inside myself. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable, blah, 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 blah. But then when you start to get those small wins and streak these together, that uncomfortable becomes something that you look forward to because you know it's making you better. And when it's making you better, you start to clearly see opportunities around you that then you have built confidence up so you can actually seize. And so I would say that if you are running away from the boring shit, quote unquote, or the mundane stuff, or the consistent stuff, you might be getting quote-unquote pleasure in that moment, but I don't know if you're getting long-term fulfillment of what you're really after. So I would look at it the opposite way. Dig in to the things that you just need to be consistent, check off, make happen, do on a habitual, you know, regular basis, and then look forward to when it's time like you're constantly preparing for that shot to when then you can just nail it to try to progress your life the reality is if you dig into the boring stuff and you make like your old good days your new bad days because your consistent behaviors are next level you're you're progressing all the time and so please don't like Look past those things on a daily basis that you need to be consistent on that are quote unquote boring. I would actually try to like embrace those things and make them normal to yourself and just watch what happens. There's a consistent amount. There's a certain amount of rules in this life that, that kind of contribute to success and being consistent on certain things Daily is one of them, in my opinion. All right, Daily Fire episode 336. Take advantage of the boring life.